Welcome to another little video about using Microsoft Access in clever ways. You might have spotted that we haven't got a copy of Access open. No, this is Microsoft Word because today we're going to be looking at how to use Word and Access together to produce a mail merge. Uh, another way of thinking about that is a mailing, so we go to the Mailings tab on the ribbon and Start Mail Merge. There's a number of ways we can do here. We could use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, so we'll use that. What I want are letters, and I'm going to use the current document. Yes, I am. This is my current document. Uh, next step, select recipients. Now here, I'm going to say use an existing list. Uh, well, where is that list? I've got to browse to find it. So I click on Browse. Word is going to go and look for some pre-existing links. Uh, it won't find any, but it takes a moment or two to look, at least the way my computer's set up. But I'm then going to have to navigate, uh, not from Microsoft Queries, but to a file I've already got set up uh, a little bit further down in my own files, ICT. Um, I'm going to use an example of a little database I set up to hold some records for an online cake shop. Okay, so uh, I've found that and it's got various tables in it. One of them is a table of customers. So I select that and it prompts me to have a look at the list of possible recipients. I've got four test data people with addresses and postcodes. So they're the people I want. Now I could try and do the address block all in one go, but I'm going to do it line by line by inserting, first of all, customer address 1, uh, and then closing that and putting in a new line. Then I'll add customer address 2, then I'll add customer address 3. Uh, I could bring them up from this list here. It's quicker. Customer address 3 is actually customer town. New line, customer postcode. And then I'm going to put in, oh, perhaps I need to put their name at the top of the address. So just create a new line at the top there and insert for name first, then a space, uh, and then surname, and then a comma. Uh, so that's the name and address at the top of my letter. Then I'll put in my letter, dear, and I know these people well enough to call them by their full name. So I put that in, comma, then I put the point of, if I could type properly, the point of this letter is to test mail merging. Yours sincerely, me. That'll do for test purposes. Now, before I start doing anything more, I can just preview the results and have a look. Here's Andy Abel, 1 Ab Street, Abingdon, his postcode, and the letter starts, Dear Andy. I can navigate through the list and show that the letter to Bill Budd looks all right, so does the one to Chris Catsmeet, and so does the one to Don Duck. So far, so good. We've actually done the next step, which was writing the letter and previewing the letter, which allows me to scroll through, uh, and next, complete the merge. Mail Merge is ready to produce the letters, uh, if I do finish and merge, I can do various things like editing individual documents, printing them, or sending email messages. I'll do edit individual documents, I'll merge all four of them, and it produces four pages, one letter to Andy Abel, one letter to Bill Budd, one letter to Chris Catsmeet, and one to Don Duck. So, that's in a separate file, which I can close. Do I want to save the changes? Actually, no, not today, thank you. To recap, I started with Start Mail Merge, I used the step-by-step -step wizard, or I could have gone through it uh, in a different way. Um, by using the wizard, I just follow the prompts over on the right-hand side of the screen. There's usually something helpful to tell me what to do. I need to have the database source set up in advance. Uh, so that's quite important. At the point of selecting recipients, I've got to start from something. Um, and using a existing list, I can browse to it. At the moment, it tells me what I've got. Cakes version 3, an Access database. I can change it. It doesn't have to be an Access. It could be in a number of formats. Quite a common one is using an Excel spreadsheet. 
as a source for a mail merge because it's very easy to fill in a grid on a spreadsheet. That's mail merging and I hope you might find it useful in some of your database tasks.